One of the beautiful things about PowerShell is its help system. It helps you find the commands that you need in order to do something. It's written in a, in a way that it uses natural language for different kinds of commands. I was rather embarrassed in a classroom one day when I was showing off PowerShell to a, a class. It was not a uh, PowerShell class, but a Windows class. And we were doing maybe a 10, 15 minute section just on PowerShell. And I mentioned the get help command. And I did this. I said get help and then uh, something like stop service. And rather than getting the uh, the help on stop. Oops, I just said stop services instead of stop service. I got a, a I got a um, error message like this. Now uh, the reason I got this error message is because I wrote this incorrectly. I have an S at the end of this, which doesn't belong there, which we'll explain later on. But the reason that I got the error message that day was not because of an incorrect typing, but it was because the help files were not in it yet. When you start up a new PowerShell for the first time, it has no help files. You have to go out to Microsoft and get the help files. Now, there's a reason for that. The help files are constantly being updated. And so you want the latest version of help. So it's important to run this command, update help, to go out and get the help files, the most recent help files, before you actually begin using the help system. Now, if we watch for a moment, here we go. It's now going to go out and download from Microsoft the help files. And once those help files are downloaded, then all of my help commands will work correctly. Uh, now, I'm going to wait for just a moment. I'll talk for a moment while this thing's going on, I guess. Stretch it out, as they say in TV. Uh, the Oh, there we go. And by the way, I got a whole bunch of error messages. Don't worry about these error messages. If you ever do an update help and you get a whole bunch of these things, there are some modules that uh, that might be in existence that there are not help files for. And so don't worry about those. But I'm going to do this now. Get help. Oops. Dirt help. Get help. Uh, get service. And there is the help file on, on the get service command. So it is important, as I said, to go out and, and update help, as I did here, before I try to use these help commands. Otherwise, even if I type the command correctly, which I didn't do at the beginning of this, um, it's going to just fail. I'm just going to get a bunch of red on the screen like this. So help is separate from PowerShell and must be downloaded the first time you run it. And we also suggest that you download it every couple of weeks or so in order to make sure that you have the latest help files because they are constantly under uh, revision.